Athletic thought things uh, just couldn't get worse. The club has already sacked one manager this season and it's a prime candidate to be relegated from the Premiership. But last night, League Two's Wickham Wanderers caused the Addicts more misery by beating them in the quarter-finals of the Carling Cup. Here's Garrett Hughes. Now, while Wickham plan ahead for a money-spinning semi-final, one leg of which we played here at Adams Park next January, for Charlton, tough times, humbled in the Carling Cup and struggling in the Premiership. There's a common sporting phrase, losing becomes a habit. It's applicable to Charlton at the moment. Charlton's season is already highly frustrating. Manager Les Reid only took charge last month following Ian Dowie's sacking. With the club out of the Carling Cup and near the bottom of the Premiership, Reid's future has been in some doubt. Managers live or die by results, but we have put together a team we think will work. The time to judge these people is when they can bring in their own players. They had no say in any of the players, neither Les or Mark, in any of the players that were brought in under the previous regime. Um, and obviously it's clear they would like to make changes. I'm sure the fans would like to see changes. But in the meantime, players in the Premiership are paid an awful lot of money and they have a responsibility to be professional and perform. As soon as we can get the new players in, we're confident we can start to turn this to what is a mess, and it's no other word to use for it, um, around. Let's not forget Wickham's achievement. By beating Charlton, the League Two club are just one step away from a cup final. All credit to Charlton, obviously they're going through a difficult time down there, um, but you know we had to use that to our benefit and, and we're sort of full of confidence and the gaff has installed that in us in a belief since he's been here and, and we did go down there with no fear and, and I think that showed. Wickham now await Saturday's semi-final draw, Arsenal, Chelsea or Tottenham could be their opponents. Charlton meanwhile have a busy festive period to negotiate. It may not be a happy Christmas for everyone. Get on to BBC London News.